Alright, I had to uh, build a test system for Windows 7, uh, so I decided to uh, put it into a unique case. My family asked me what I wanted for Father's Day, and I said, you know what, I really dying to get one of these. So, I went ahead and uh, got a uh, an Antec skeleton. This case is open all the way around. Um, you can actually see the five and a quarter bays there. Uh, that fan right there. There's the three and a half inch drives there. Um, right now I have a Micro ATX Intel DG41RQ motherboard. I have an Intel Q8400 Core 2 Quad processor, a couple sticks of PC6400 memory in there, and uh, you know, 320 drive, gig hard drive, DVD burner, uh, you know, all running serial. So, uh, uh, pretty basic. I uh, got an NVIDIA. NX 8400GS video card in there with 512 on board or a 512 makes memory. So uh, after I got all done, I was left over some parts. But uh, these are the coolest ones. Here. I'm gonna start with these first. These are the additional brackets for uh, if you got extra hard drives more than two three and a half inch take these and you go right down here and you cook them on to these little side clips and you can add on two on either side and just you know you just bring your power and your drive cable over and cool huh Sierra thinks it's cool too huh Sierra hi mm -hmm. it's my little assistant uh, my other assistants over here are asleep, uh, but uh, yeah, these two are my uh, computer-friendly pets. In fact, Sierra likes to uh, to inspect computers, and Lucy has a fondness for laptops. Okay, I've got photographs of her playing with the uh, touchpads on laptops. But let's get back here. Bracket. Now I ended up with a few spare parts. Maybe you can tell me what to do. I have a label, schematic diagram. I usually put that on the inside of the case. Okay, that ain't gonna work. All right, I got the the back panel. Now this is cool, but no, I think there's just spare parts too now. And then it comes down. Where do I put the Intel Inside logo? You know. Okay, I'm not going to be able to do that. But now, let's go ahead, turn off the lights, and wake it up and see what it does. I'm going to turn off my monitors here real quick and see if we can get this thing to really light up for us. Ah, uh, there we go. That gives you the true effect. I do have the, the monitor back here. Uh, we do have the 64-bit Windows 7 running here. She's all loaded. Watch this. This thing's cool. Maybe I'll just turn off the monitor real quick. There we go. I'm going to let it cycle through some of its... For my uh, my friends who are architects and designers, uh, <laughs> this is one unique design. I mean, this uh, I could see this fitting into a contemporary design really easy. It could actually be a showcase piece. 
have that on your counter feeding a big screen plasma screen yeah yeah that would be cool so, but hey this thing's got more settings let's go through them we have a switch right over here let's switch through and see what colors we can get whoa gotta admit these things this is one really cool effect cycling through we should be done right about there and it turns completely on so Shazam that is it